Hello, this is Brad Peebler with a Moto 10 series quick tip. Uh, this is the game layout, but game layout's not just for games. Check it out. Uh, this is an architectural layout. If you have a nice floor plan here, it looks like a, a nice rational floor plan. This might be a little close here, so let's just move that over. Moto's really nice for doing this sort of thing. Um, but you know, there's no better way to evaluate uh, a room than to walk around in the room. So let's just go ahead and hop on over to a camera view here. And there's our camera, and I'm gonna activate game navigation. First of all, I'm gonna just toggle that view off. Nice, look at that. Isn't that cool? Nice little UI enhancement. Anyway, now I'm gonna push uh, game navigation. This gives you first person navigation, which is quite useful for architectural. Hit the space bar uh, or C key to move up and down. Uh, ASD is going to, or WASD is gonna move you forward, sideways, etc. And now you can get a feel for it. As I'm coming along here, let's see. Well, let's just see what it looks like. We walk in the front door, all right, and Oh, that's tight. I'm going to bang my shin or my knee on that corner every time. So we're going to get rid of that table. Uh, so you walk in. Again, from the top view, this all made sense, but ah, it's feeling kind of cramped. I'm going to bump into that all the time. This ottoman's too big. Uh, let's see how it feels over here. Yeah, this is probably okay. This closet's maybe could be shrunk down a little bit. And let's see. Here we go. Let's just go and walk to the back of the house, go through the kitchen. That's nice. That feels good. That works. And how about over here? That's fine. Yeah, I think uh, definitely we're going to want to uh, to shrink down that ottoman and move that table from the front. And uh, wow, look at that. Using game tools for architectural visualization. Hey, that's Moto 10 series. All kinds of goodness for everybody. Cheers.